so I can't move close to it. That's the problem. Uh, I'll throw the trap on you. Guess we're just gonna shoot. Probably best for area effect one. Reload. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Swing at me all you want. Alright. Uh, sworn enemy. I'll make it up. I'll see to it personally. I mean, it's tiny damage, but better than nothing, right? And endure. I'll make it happen. Puny dagger. It's 250 hit points. My hand is My is this fight is just stupidly long. I can't move any closer. Um, I can't charge. Can I? Oh, I can. Let's do it. All right, so if we do sworn enemy, At your back and forth. devastating hit, it will be the gray hand. Sure hand, victory is imminent. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> no matter. It will be done. At your back and your target. Yes! That took forever! <coughs> Way too long. Okay, let's loot. Man, that was just stupidly long. Um, I don't think that's any... Better. I'll take it, but I don't think it's any better. Ulfar. Oh, he can use the flamer, though. I might just do that. I uh, can't use it. 40 to 50. I'm not heretical, so that's not going to do me any good. Take it anyway. Just because it's cool. Is that the same one he has? Wait, is that heretical? No, it's not. I think that might be the same he has. 30 to 46. 36 to 50. Oh, that's better. Okay, I'll click this. Hello, can anyone hear me? We read you, strike team. This is a lift control. Report your status. Erwalon is dead. I keep saying his name wrong. Acknowledge. Strike team. Beginning the extraction of the car uh, priority cargo. Getting attracted. A fine victory, Michelangelo. It will tell sagas about one day the contemptible Erwalon fell. The cog priest should offer you a fine cup of miod for saving their prayer world. If you hadn't, Erlon would have bathed them in a hundredfold more blood. As for you, ever... Ulfar Thunderlung, 
Thunderlung, huh? You have proven yourself. The Stormbiters will tell about your feet and your and your roaring song. I thank you, Thorvald. You and your brothers fought well. You did the wolves proud. It will be my joy to share a cup with you at the victory feast. Uh, yeah, if Opticon was here, he would have said the victory was brought him pleasure along with three scores of synonyms for it. <laughs> and that it has unlocked his jubilation functionality. He was a fine priest, and it's a shame to lose a comrade like him. He was a warrior at heart, so all father grant him the highest warrior's honor, the glorious death in battle. We will drink to his memory at the feast, so that the Iron Wolf may be merciful to his binaric spirit. Unit Opticon 22 was a worthy representative of the Explorators. On conceptual level, he perceived martyrdom as equivalent to the definitive success in performing his function and serving Omnissia expressions of regret and inappropriate for him. I estimate that in his final functional moments, he experienced the highest form of pious exhalation. Uh, how's your pack, Thorvald? What are your losses? Several of my brothers will carry on in fighting their battles in the Allfather's host. The rest will have survived. We've shed much of our blood, but the wolf's hide is tough and the spirit is stubborn. Once you take us down, you better finish us off. The Stormbiters live on this day. Next. I see you and Allfather have worked through your quarrels. It doesn't become a noble warrior to bark at his battle comrade after a good fight. Ulfar Thunderlung has proven that the spirit of the Baleful Hollow is alive and strong. And let the ravens fly where he has walked. Let them tear at the bloody harvest left in his wood. May Blackbane guide you through the Black Knight, Ironhide. And know that if your pack calls, the Baleful Hollow will always answer. What was hidden down there? What was the treasure of the that Erlon was after? I know not. Kalkazar... Carls did not allow anyone into the hidden arsenals. All we could do is see them dragging crates up to the surface. This is the old, uh, age-old way. We fight, they sweep up for the spoils. Brought them, uh, we brought these from below. For all I know, Carls that killed them sealed their lips. Sweet scent of rotten meat prickles my nose. But it is not the fallen bodies that smell. It's the hand of the Inquisitor's minions. Is what my instinct tells me too. A heart never has a strong faith in Calcazar's words before, but now, whatever phantom trust I had in the scattering to smoke, we must ask questions and get the answers by force, if that is the way it has to be. Uh, yeah, we'll try it. Examine the bodies. Something strange occurred in the two women's augments. Augmetics. It's like they began to grow inside the flesh, spreading a web of metal around them. After taking a closer look, you realize that every augment seems to have begun mutating, developing new forms of functions not envisioned by their creators. It seems probable that this was the cause of their demise. Suddenly you hear a click inside one of the tech priest's bodies, and her eyes wide open. Spasm shakes her gaunt limbs, making Thorvald clutch his weapon. Her lips twist into a crooked smile, forcing out two words. The yoke. Call a medic Reconstruction, impossible. The shelter has fallen. The maimed hunter comes. Cessation of vital functions inevitable. Reading the unit's new spheric signature. No evidence of corruption registered in the algorithm. Detecting substantial logistic or logical disruptions with the augments. Threat level low. Uh, Inspector Wounds. Not a single wound on her white skin. Uh, who are you? Megos Axiomantha Hanuman. That is my identifier. How many Hanumans are there? Initiate interrogation procedure. You're not the first of the Omnissiah I met who goes by that name. You find yourself at the center of the tangle of a paradoxicality? You spoke of the shelter of the maimed, maimed hunter. What do you mean by it? The shelter 
Uh, this place was a shelter. The Lord Inquisitor hid me here and not me alone. Famed hunter, figure of termination is known unknown variable. Amaranth's nemesis. I've never met them, but I inferred their existence based on the statistical evidence and logical conclusions. The importance of entropy foretold that the hunter is near. Can you speak more plainly? Are my words obscure? That is regrettable. The process it becomes difficult when you only have half your mind. Certain notations, data, and logistical instruments are left. The less functioning part of me. Uh, how do you know about... Renat? I was a disciple of the Messiah's discontinuing. It was laid low, and I found myself here. I hid from my reckoning. I reached out to Omnisai's wisdom, and I pondered and considered. Logical re uh, revealed much to me, even here in my prison. The cycle will be discontinued, sister. Hope is a logical brother. Was she your sister? She was me. A phenomenon of flesh divided me into two identical bodies at birth. The Omnisai's wisdom let me overcome the physiolo uh, physiological flaw by braided, braiding back the separate mind. I was the first to unificate in the fleet. Now that half of me is dead, the rest of my mind is fading. This sympathetic principles is insurmountable. Creation of unificate uh, unificates is dangerous knowledge it has long since been denounced as many of the procedures not blessed by the Omnisai is based not on direct prototype envision but by precursors merely a loosened connection technology knowledge will not have the capacity to be absolute until the coming of the Omnisai we do not know such pre-technology but we can claim with certainty that it never existed remember the stories about Gemini Kretz? Twins. Magi joined their minds in devotion of Mars. I remember. Proponents of the right to create unificates based on the defense of Quintus precedent. I've learned enough. If you wish to know, then hurry. The turning of the cog will soon cease. Uh, what happened to you? Chapel was attacked. The preservation protocol commanded me to hide within the inner artifactorum and block the outside access to it. Prolonged presence close proximity of the object was prohibited by algorithm, but the preservation protocol had a higher priority. The object affected me. I resisted. Resistance led to structural change. Uh, what object? The yoke. This weapon we forged at the Lord Inquisitor's command, the destroyer of the worlds. Uh, how does it work? What is this yoke? An enigma. The project was kept a secret from everyone, including the smiths. We forged fragments of it. It was a tool for controlling energies of staggering powder power. And it was not on the science blessed gift. That serves as its foundation. It was forbidden knowledge. Knowledge that we comprehended. Profanity registered. We'll continue to work with our mentor, Archmagos Amaranth. In his wisdom, we made our toils possible. Uh, how did Calcazan learn of it? Against anyone, the power is absolute. First experiment to this tech relic were calamitous. The tech blight, which is merely its echo, has potential so much greater. It should never have fallen into the hands of laity, but the Lord Inquisitor stole it. Its secret was procured among the dimensional gate between the dark stars and passed over Amaranth. Calcazar destroyed the Messiah of discontinuing and robbed him and claimed the secret for himself. He knows it's there. He speaks no lies. The first task that the Inquisitor gave us the expanse was to destroy the cult of tech heretics. The deed was done. This Amaranth was a good priest. Or, this Amaranth, was he a good priest? Did Calcazar drag us into something foul? I was there too. I fought those judged by Calcazar. This unit is waiting for an explanation. Why did Calcazar need you to do it? At first, he tried to do everything swiftly and quietly, but his agents of the Cog Priest, loyal to him, failed to capture the leader of the tech heretics. 
when he realized that we needed indestructible warriors, he needed us cog carls. We're powerless against the wolves' might. Brought carnage to the explorators' ships and worlds. Uh, Ulfar, why did you keep quiet about this? There wasn't my interest. There was another. Uh, there was another's will, and it was chapters matter. I've already told you more about the wolves than many of the brothers would have said in my place. I respect your olds and do not think less of you. Thank you. Unit Ulfar claims that he was a tool in another's hands. The statement has been archived. Let every tool be treated as befits its function. Are you a worthy ally? I never meant you or your brethren harm, Cog Priest. As befits its function. What else do you wolves know about Amaranth? Nothing. I swear on my honor. He disappeared. So did his ship. There's no blood on his hands or on on his upon our hands. What do you know about the secret weapon? I've never even knew there was a weapon. I was told of traitors and I tracked them down. I claimed no trophies. I had no part in the dark intrigues. I think I would have wished that sneaky scheming viper to get his hands on something so powerful. I wouldn't even trust him with my axe. It's not my place to judge you. You were following orders. And yet doubt smother my heart. Did we sully the chapter's honor with deeds done and dishonorable? Uh, how exactly did the object affect you? Difficult thing to explain to a layman. Metamorphosis phenomena occurred in the object's vicinity. Sacred technology and even ordinary plasteel starts to behave willfully, shifting, reconstructing, and altering the fundamental attributes. Imagine you have yourself gaze upon the surface of water that was disturbed by a stone an era ago, but the ripples never stopped coming. That's what it felt like. The object propagated echoes to, of change. Her true flesh has betrayed her and become heavily heavy burden of metal within her body, something that is not the Omnissiah's design, something devoid of function. Why are you revealing Kalkazar's secrets to me? I was never a servant. I was forced to serve. When our circle was broken, he offered me a choice, submit or die. He threatened to kill half of me if I refused to forge for him. He needed Archmagos Amaranth's knowledge, and I had it. I saw no sense of existing. Betrayed him too? Yes. Ethics are an ins uh, insubstantial construct of emotion. I acted logically. I continued to comprehend rather than to terminate my vital functions. Well, I doubt I can learn more from you. It is difficult to process. I fulfilled my duty to the Omnissiah. May I rest now? We are in need of help. Attempts to slow down the de uh, degradation process are irrational. Or they only prolong my suffering. I wish to cease to be. Brother, take my thoughts and keep them. Them now. Knowledge is not fallen into oblivion. The quest for knowledge is Omnissiah's mission to us. Uh, Thorbald, did you understand what's happening here? Something followed. The Inquisitor seeks us to obtain a mighty weapon that he kept this design even from us, the Allfather's warriors. So a suspicion in my heart. Does he keep his lips sealed because he knows that we won't support his game? Does a worm of treason lurk within his mind? Uh, honor the fallen tech priest. Deus Mechanicus accepts their souls. And may the wolf that stalks between the stars keep their departed souls. All right. Interest in Euphrates. Where do we gotta go? Okay, so we gotta talk to him when we get to the ship. To uh, Old Bar. We gotta go to football. Footfall. Hmm. 
I had Cortel follow on Twitch not so long ago, and I didn't even get the message. I've been having some issues. Not getting notified. So we meet again, Wolfar Thunderlung. Live long, Rogue Trader. Business has brought us to your Drakkar. Greetings, brothers. What brings you here? What do I owe the pleasure? Brother Ofar, you swore that you would stand for the honor of your pack at the Baleful Howl. Did you descend on Euphrates too with your brothers? Did you fight? The world my boots did tread. I fallen halls, my victory cries I roared. The day of all father asks for a reckoning of my deeds. I will not be ashamed to tell the siege of Euphrates. Who will bear witness to the truth of this wolf's words? Uh, what if I say nothing? I can bear witness. We know you, Michael Lynch. You have We have seen you in battle. We believe you. Show us the scars, Brother Ulfar, that we may see the mark of your deeds in the flesh. I did not requ acquire my scars to show them off, Brother Corporal. Show the scars, Brother. Show the scars. to be observed silently. Fresh mark to receive your freight is. He had no idea he had suffered such deep and grievous wounds. The crowd erupts in roars of approval. Did you take a glorious trophy in the battle? Yeah, he did. He removes the horn. Proudly thunders the baleful howl. Praise the Allfather for sending such a formidable and valiant brothers. Except from the Stormbride as this gift of honor in the battle that we fought shoulder to shoulder. Axes have a special attack that inflicts bleeding. Uh, he doesn't sell anything. He don't sell anything. Um, there's like four different traders, and I need a lot of rep with him before I can get armor, unfortunately. Okay, Thorbald, now we tell Ulfar where he can look for his brothers. I will not stand in Ulfar's Ulf way if he chooses to go searching, but brother, you have proven the glory of your pack. Is it not time to sever the weird thread? With respect, I once again extend my offer to join the Stormbiters. Uh, forgive me, brother, but I must decline your offer. Though my heart's filled with joy at the thought of fighting alongside you, I, Ulfar Thunderlung, swear before Black Mane and the blood of Fenris yeah, I will not cease to seek my pack until my eyes behold them alive or dead. I understand, brother. My black man, run beside your path. Fortify yourself. Stoke your rage. I see that your heart is darker than the waters of the world sea. So I ask you, take care that you do not join those whom we must not speak. What now? Well, you should probably return to our Drakkar. His face becomes serious, and he gives me a significant. I would hate to violate any Frenzian traditions. See to the arrangements. In that case, let the serfs throw a wide cellar doors and haul up the provisions. We will feast and glory in our triumph. The kitchen servants are certainly no match for those serving the Great Hall on Fenris, but the master of this Drakkar are not lacking in hospitality or generosity. Sweet. Okay. So that is done. Questions and answers. We gotta go to Footfall. Pet Socorro. Alright, so he got this axe. Is that an actual weapon? It is. 25 to 35 damage. Oops, I like that. I don't know if I'll use him again. Oh, yeah, I, I, I can't switch. The 
the footfall we go. Alright, so we came here. We haven't even been here. So let's make this safe. Or safer. Let's travel. Just because I've never been here. Not sure what just happened. Sherine, oh, she's... I've been waiting for you. In Hurry up. Tub. The water is hot, like the fire in a longing heart. Join her. Yeah. Isn't it divine? Why didn't we do this sooner? Pretty buff. Uh, beckon her with my finger. Come here. Mm. Flames kindle in her huge dark eyes. They are the flames of bonfires roaring in the night. Here we go. And I'm fully dressed. Weapons and all. I wasn't expecting that. But I guess it was a hardened battle. Miles will release some of that stress, right? All right, let's visit. We'll take a look and see what we got here. I got Prometheum. Ice World. Oh. Um. You know, I'm going to keep Ulfar. We'll see where it is with his axe. I don't think he's all that great. This ocular implant was a worthwhile investment. Okay, so. Of course, you would have to be the one that would walk around it. A fragment of a plate bearing an unholy symbol. Oh, was that a Chaos Marine? Operation successful. Head of the man was literally wrenched off, unscrewed. Why can you I interrupted my thoughts? Why are my guys not up here? <laughs> 